specific factors model. Now, this model was first developed by Weiner, and he was the first one who examined uh, specific factors model, right? So he mainly used this model to explain the migration of workers, right, from the rural areas to the urban areas during industrial revolution, right? So we will develop this. Please, please just write this. So who was the first person who developed it? Weiner. And uh, he designed the model to explain the migration of workers from rural to urban areas. Right. <clears throat> After the Industrial Revolution, in 1820s. So what he said was that uh, uh, specific or fixed factors, uh, there could be certain specific factors or fixed factor to a particular industry, and there can be certain mobile factors. He said this that uh, there are two types of factors. So one is labor. Labor is a mobile factor. It can move from one industry to the another. While there are other factors, which are specific to a particular industry, which are specific to a particular industry, right? And those specific factors, since they are specific to a particular industry, they cannot move from one industry to the another, right? So there are two types of factors. types of factors. One is labor. Right. And other are fixed factors or specific factors. I can also call this as mobile factors. Right. So there are two kinds of factors. One is uh, your mobile factors, and other are fixed factors or specific factors. Right. Then he started giving an example. For example, um, there are skilled workers in the car industry. So they're only for that particular industry. Could be, right? Even certain kind of labor could be there. And there are, fix, there are, there are fixed or, or skilled work, workers in the car industry. Or for example, um, or should I say this? That land is, let's say, is a specific factor. Land is not something which you can move from one industry to the another. So there is a country which is going to, let's say, produce uh, what cruisers, uh, your ocean cruisers. Say there is a country which is going to pr produce ocean cruisers and leather products. to other countries. Right. What happens is that uh, there is this country which is 
exporting these cruisers and the leather products so it will also need a certain kind of capital right in order to build up these ocean cruisers in order to build up these leather products so that capital is going to be specific to only this particular industry maybe labor can move but uh, but uh, you would need a capital which is going to be specific to, the, to that industry right so capital so there is a capital which is required for leather industry there is a capital which is required for cruisers you need a certain kind of machinery it cannot be used among okay fine uh, we can the return to capital is increasing so we'll move capital from uh, cruisers to leather products so return to capital in leather industry is increasing it doesn't work like that right so capital is specific capital is specific to the industry right uh, workers are mobile between the industries i mean they can move from one industry to the another they can move from the cruising industry or ocean cruising industry to the leather industry but capital it cannot move uh, so that is one thing <clears throat> there is a difference of these uh, what do you call models also so let me also just <clears throat> tell you a few differences uh, so and i want to tell you the main result also beforehand so that you understand while we are doing the model <clears throat> what is the kind of the thing which we are going to expect so the main result is and how is this different from the ricardian model also in the ricardian model labor is shared between the two countries right so but what happens in case of the specific factors model there is one kind of factor which is not going to be mobile between the two factors oh, sorry between the two industries while in the hecksher olin model <clears throat> all the factors are mobile right in the hecksher olin model all the factors are assumed to be mobile whether it is labor or capital whatever right some factors may be fixed in the short run but all factors are variable inputs in the long run so let me just write a few points so that you remember them we will revisit them later on in 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 the later recordings but you should know them unlike in the ricardian model <clears throat> labor is shared between the two industries labor is shared between the two industries does uh, the specific mod specific factors model explains why a country produces a product <clears throat> and also imports it so for example there are few countries which can produce a product even we are producing oil india is also producing oil but it is also importing it in in the large quantity 
<coughs> and also imports it. And uh, there are diminishing returns to the factor. Marginal product for labor declines as more uh, amount of labor is going to be employed. So the PPF is going to be concave shaped. Unlike in the Ricardian model, that's what we have seen. The PPF is PPF is uh, your downward sloping straight line. That is your constant opportunity cost. We will be revisiting these, but I just want to tell you a uh, few things. That is diminishing returns. Diminishing returns. <clears throat> MPL. <clears throat> or any other input. Declines. As more is employed. Mm -hmm. So this leads to PPF being concave to origin. We'll be showing that. <clears throat> PPF be concave uh, to the origin. Uh, so this is the main result, Abhita. So we have to go further into the model in order to derive more results. But you can just look at it, these two main results, Abhita, uh, I mean, just to find out uh, uh, what is the difference of the specific factors model from the Ricardian model. Let me just give you a few assumptions uh, of the model. Few assumptions of the model, that is, uh, few assumptions. So it means what? You can produce two goods, let's say. <clears throat> produce two goods, <clears throat> cloth and food. Huh? There are three factors of production. There are three factors of production, basically land, labor, and capital. Land, labor, and capital. <clears throat> that is land T, labor L, capital K. Cloth is used, cloth is produced using labor and capital only, right? Food is produced using land and labor only. So as far as cloth is concerned, it is using labor and capital. And uh, as far as food is concerned, it is being used with labor and land. So these are the assumptions. So as you guys could see, labor is mobile between cloth and food, but capital and land are specific to the product, specific to the industry. So labor is the mobile factor. Labor is the mobile factor that can be used in either 
in either sector. But land and labor, sorry, but land and capital, are specific uh, to the sector. And what do you mean by this? That can be used only in that sector. Right, that can be used only in that sector. So if you want to write, I mean, you can write the production function of cloth as uh, QC, which is the function of KLC, the labor employed in the cloth sector, while QF F that is production function in the food industry as uh, land and labor, which is employed in the food industry, right? And of course, the amount of labor employed in the food industry plus amount of labor employed in the capital industry should be equal to the total amount of labor, which is available. So these are the few assumptions. So in this recording, I want to do this much only. That is, we have talked about a very simple meaning of the specific factors model. One result, although we have not proved it yet, we'll be talking about that uh, as we go. And the and the PPF being concave to origin. This is what we're going to show in the next class when we will talk about the production possibilities in the specific factors model. Right? That is what we want to do in the next class. We want to uh, talk about this particular thing, that PPF being concave to origin. Uh, so how do we get this? This is what we're going to do. Right. And slowly, when we develop the model, we'll try to find out how it is different from the Ricardian model, which we have studied till now. Right. Thank you, Buddha.